Hi, my name is Bill Martin. I'm with Motorsports down here in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to take a look at the Durango, the KZ Durango 286 BHD. Probably one of the best built bunkhouse models you'll find. If this is the year you're potentially looking for a fifth wheel with bunk beds, you don't want to break the bank, but you also you, you want to step up. There's nothing quite like this in the industry. KZ builds an incredibly quality product from the very front down up to the top, the eight inch I-beam steel frame. They have Dexter heavy duty, uh, never adjusting brakes that they adjust by themselves. They also have the Equiflex rubber suspension, your coach going down off-road, highway bumps, whatever, nice, soft, etc. beaming. You're not bouting your truck to death. Heavy uh, six lug, heavy duty aluminum wheels, uh, large 15 inch tires. The suspension is what really builds your coach. KZ takes things a step further too. Rather than a lot of your units at this price point, maybe have aluminum sidewalls and wood trusses top and bottom and wood here and wood there. KZ actually has wood aluminum walls, wood, uh, sorry, aluminum flooring, aluminum walls, aluminum roof, aluminum front and back. So it's a six cage aluminum, which means integrity and structure for your coach for many, many years to come. They also put a Lamalox high gloss gel coat finish on this. This is not your normal phylon. This material will last and look like this for years to come. They build a truly great coach. KZ is one of my very few manufacturers also that backs their product with a two year limited warranty. Most of your manufacturers are down to one year now, but KZ knows they build a superior product. They take the time to build it right and they back their product well. So you've got your two year warranty. And of course your roof is 12 year. Your roof on this unit is a TPO roof, so it's not your standard rubber roof you might find on traditional coaches. It's actually a combination rubber and vinyl. It's going to last longer. It also flexes too. So as the heat, the cold, the, the stretching, the moving your coach, it flexes and won't tear. Less maintenance and also no chalking on it. It's a better roof. It costs more to build, but KZ does that. You'll also notice we have two separate lines on this unit. All of them have the LED lights on the outside. If you look at a lot of coaches now today, they put the LED lights up against the coach shining out. This awning goes all the way out eight feet and it brings light back onto your coat. So it's a nice added safety security feature. You also have the other awning here, which we have not run all the way out now, but it comes out another eight feet and it covers your outdoor kitchen area. So there's nothing like doing the cooking on the outside. If the kids are out or mom and dad are out or friends are here, you got a nice place for extra soft drinks, water, etc., for anybody to come and get rather than going through the trailer. You've got a great setup here for cooking breakfast, hot dogs, hamburgers, etc. outside, and you've got a nice stove here with hot and cold running water to clean up after you're done. And if the weather's inclement, you're covered under the full awning. It's a great way to go. As you go around the back of the KZ, this unit also up in a box, which is up in the front storage compartment, comes with an outdoor barbecue. So not only do you have a two burner stove for normal stuff, you have a barbecue here for your steaks and that. And that actually hooks onto here. You can cook away from the trailer. So stove and barbecue. You also on all the KZ products, we're bringing them in with the extended bumper. And this rack actually folds up while you're driving down the road. But here's a great place for your coolers, your firewood, maybe kids bikes etc. that other people don't have. So you've got more room on the back of this to haul stuff rather than bring a trailer behind you to bring extra stuff with. You also know, see that they have great storage underneath the bunks back here. The bunk beds when you go inside are actually full-size queen beds. Your normal bunks are either twins, doubles, but these are queens. And I've got great storage. I also have the slam baggage motorhome type doors. These doors fit well, they secure well. Uh, it's just a great fit all around, no leakage. As we go around, it's probably easier here to see, but all the KZ windows, they are frameless windows. It's another sign of a higher end coach. The frameless windows do a few things. Is number one, your traditional where they open sideways. These windows actually open out this way. So they open this way. They can be open, get you ventilation. And when the raining comes, rain's not coming inside your coach. There's also no automotive rubber seal on the outside. So the sun's not gonna wear out and create your seal, which can create leaks and air gaps. Uh, also, there, there's no metal brackets here. So they're easier to clean. They look better, they seal better. Uh, and it's just it's a better window and you normally see that on more expensive coaches as far as the roof goes It, it is a radius roof and as I mentioned earlier is a TPO roof. It's a stronger better roof It's a full walk-on roof as evidenced by the ladder being here if you need to get up here You have full access to the entire coach 
As we go around, you'll at least see the back panel here, and I'll show you more up front. This unit also has a four-point auto hydraulic le or electric leveling system. You merely push a button. This unit levels itself. When you're done camping, ready to break camp, you push a button. It goes back to the exact same level your truck was at. Boom, go home. Full-size slide, once again, the frameless windows. This unit is set up. Your normal trailer RV is going to have 30 amp service. We typically bring in the KZs with 50 amp service in the event a consumer ever wants a second air conditioner. Up here in Salt Lake, in our area in the mountains, the second A is probably not important, but if you go to St. George or higher humidity areas on your travels, you'll probably want that second AC to keep your family nice and comfortable. You have full pass-through storage here, and there's the box I was talking about earlier, that's your barbecue. But you also have a universal docking center. You've got cable hookup, satellite hookup, outdoor shower, hot and cold running water, your black tank flush. All your connections are easy in one place rather than scattered all throughout the trailer. One place, simple maintenance. Also, KZ does something. A lot of your fifth wheels, they're putting your tanks on both sides of the unit. KZ puts them all on one side. Those are seven gallon, 30 pound tanks. Uh, they last you well over a year, I'm sure. But they're easy access, one side, easy fill and go. Trying to make it easy in the consumer. As you go around the front, you'll see another part of that pasture storage. If you ever wanted to build a generator into the unit, I actually have the capability to go ahead and put a 4,000 watt generator in there. It's already pre-cut out. Or you can bring a portable generator with you. Another for feature that Durango does that most others don't is your cap is actually wrapped around here rather than fiberglass meeting. It's protected. Mother Nature stays out of it. Your investment is protected for many years to come. Also, this front cap is painted. It's not decals. Five, six, seven, ten years from now, your investment's going to look like that. More, more return on your money. This will be where the compartment is. When you leave here, there will be two deep cycle batteries in here too. All the KZs also have a battery disconnect in here. So when you're, you get home, you're done using your trailer, you merely flip the button and your batteries go off. There's no drain or anything. You're ready to go for your next camp trip. This is your auto level system here. You merely just push a button. Uh, I mean, you can raise the jacks individually from here too, but boom, 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 auto level. I mean, you're actually, your, your kids are already eating lunch where everybody else is trying to set up camp. It's a great feature to have. It's awesome. We're going to go ahead and st take a step in. We've got triple step entry, easy to get up into. The first thing you see when you walk into it is the controls are actually hidden away. That's, that's actually a good thing. That way kids aren't pushing your buttons all the time where people like me walk in and push them. But all your controls are in one place, your light panels, etc. switches. You also notice the floor. Uh, it is a commercial grade, very resistant to stain, but it's also a lighter, so it makes the coach feel brighter, cleans up, amazing. The first thing is you turn around in here, uh, if it is a bad weather night or whatever, or younger kids, uh, they want to watch a DVD movie or mom and dad want to watch something, you have great TV. The fireplace is optional. It is a nice feature to have. It creates a very nice ambiance. Uh, it puts out 5,000 BTU of heat if you do need it. But if you don't want it, we can also order that in with a cabinet in there. As you go around, the, one of the most important things in any RV is storage, storage, storage. KZ does an excellent job of that. I've got a full-size pantry here. I mean, I, uh, my soup cans, my, uh, my cereal boxes, and all my goods, whatever I need, I can virtually put in that one container. Also, all the KZs come in with an eight cubic foot fridge. Their larger series does come in with double door fridges, but right now we're in a 1500 series, which means the unit is probably more or less half ton towable. This does weigh 8,490 pounds. It is roughly about 33 feet, 11 inches long. So it is on the half ton edge there, but it is only 12 feet tall. So it is designed to use in our campgrounds here in Utah. It'll fit in Yellowstone. Uh, and it's, it's just amazing and endless for the size it has. As we go around, solid surface countertop, standard in every KZ product. Cabinets galore. I mean, they're just cabinets everywhere, and I just absolutely love their stainless steel and their deep sinks. I can actually put stuff in there and use it. To, I got great food prep area, although hopefully I'll be outside prepping it too and do from there. As we go back to the rear of the coach too, these are the full size queen beds I've been talking about, not your normal size bunks. I can sleep four adults in there if need be, plus there's an extra storage cabinet for them to have their clothes and easy step up into the unit. It's just great to have this size bed no matter what family members are coming. 
KZ, the U-shaped dinette is an awesome setup. I can seat extra people there if need be on game night or extra meal night inside. I can put a couple chairs here. All my KZs, these are not cheaply built units. I have steel ball bearing glide drawers even on my cabinets underneath the dinette. All my other pull out drawers too, these are 100 pound capacity drawers. They're built to last. The stronger you build something, the longer it's gonna last. KZ does a great job there. This is a trifold sofa. If I need to use that unit, I can actually pull that out and sleep another two adults there. I've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people, easy and comfortable. Hopefully I don't need that many people, but if I got it, I can do it in a relatively good unit. We're gonna go ahead and take a walk upstairs. First thing you'll see, this is a Jack and Jill bath. Great counter space, part of my slide out, but a great corner shower. There are tons of room in there. And it might be easier maybe if I went ahead and just showed you real quick, but a lot of showers in the RVs are kind of small and huge, but this one you can actually stand in and use and you know not have the shower curtain wrap around you and, and you know throwing it away as you do. All of your toilets uh, in all the Durangos are porcelain. They're not plastic. So what that means is really stains, etc. come all clear. Nice little shelf for storage, medicine cabinet, great sink. You have 55 gallons of fresh water in Durango, so plenty of water for the family to use. As you go around to the front to the bedroom, in my 1500 series, which is what this is, and that's the half ton towable and 12 foot tall unit, I typically have the wardrobe slide out versus the bedroom slide. That still gives me massive storage, great deep counter space, hanging closets, uh, and a full residential size 60 by 80 inch queen bed. I can sleep the entire family in here. Uh, I've got his and hers closets on each, uh, power outlets on each side. I could put CPACs up there. I've got storage under the bed. And if I am in a, uh, you know, not in 120 degree weather or 90% humidity, I still have ducted AC up in this unit too. If I want to add a second TV, I'm already pre-wired up to here. Uh, I've got everything you need. It's, it's a great value. It's a high-end quality travel trailer. It sleeps 10 people if you need be. Uh, it's backed by the best warranty in the industry. We'd love to have you come down and let us show you the rest of the KZ lineup. Thank you.